vacation bus. Thanks for that, professional driver. Well, that's how are things. Hope you're all doing the grandest and you're keeping safe during the, the lockdown. Um, luckily for me, I'm still employed. I still have a job. I can still travel to and from work. So I have myself a little piece of paper if I get stopped. <laughs> um, so look, it's handy that way. Um, very lucky to still be employed in this climate. I know a lot of people aren't as, as fortunate. So at least there's that to hold on to. Um, just wanted to make a quick video really lads to get out. Um, took a bit of a detour here on the way home so I could get a bit longer on the bike. It's a bit bold but look. <laughs> I'm cooked up in the house for the rest of the day after coming home from work and the weekends are, are pretty much dead so just really need to get out. And unfortunately obviously can't be making any more kind of exploration videos while we're still on lockdown because I can't really go anywhere farther than two kilometers than my house for essential needs really um, and I know explore, exploring it and making YouTube videos I wonder if I could argue saying that my job is a YouTuber and that you know it's an essential service <laughs> I doubt I would get away with it but um, yeah pretty pretty crap crack the fact that Here's a, I think it's a testing facility for coronavirus they're setting up across the hospital here. Um, so yeah, things have, things have gotten kind of serious around here. And people aren't taking it that seriously still, but I think since the lockdown's come into place, people have, in fairness, started to cop on a bit. Um, I just wanted, as I said, get out and clear the head and, and make a video for you lads. Um, bit of bad news really to start off with. Um, RevUp 2020 is cancelled. Uh, the, the organizers made the correct decision, I, I think anyway, to cancel it this year because it's in May and, you know, the country's in lockdown and there's no sign of this ending anytime soon. So, you know, it was in their best interest to cancel it as early as possible rather than leaving it get to May and then telling everyone it's canceled. So I just wanted to say thanks to everyone that donated or spread the word of RevUp. Um, the money will still be getting donated to Lord Taverns. Um, so at least there's that and they said that the money that I've raised this year and the money that everyone's raised this year will go towards the donations next year so like if I'm going to do it next year I don't have to start from scratch which which is great to hear and at least they get a bit of money for the charity uh, because you know just because there's a global pandemic on doesn't mean that charities aren't affected still and they still don't have their other hardships going on so at least there's that but yeah it's cancelled so unfortunately I won't be heading to Rev of 2020 this year um, either with anyone and I was I was really looking forward to it to be honest but you know it's just the way things are and it's the same with America I was supposed to be going to America in May my flights for that are also cancelled so more crappy news there but look it's just what needs to be done we'll, we'll get through it and, and things will be grand but it is just so annoying especially in Ireland we're getting a fine egg. it's not the nicest day today but the last week or two has been have been actually lovely really really nice weather but you know, it's like everything's going against us. The first time you get a good bit, good bit of weather, the country goes into lockdown and you're not allowed to leave your house. So, you know, what can you do? What can you do? As I said, I'm lucky enough to still be working. Um, so I can commute to and from work on the bike. So at least to get out that way. Um, I know the guards are clamping down on people just going on spins because, you know, the country's in a lockdown. It's in a lockdown for a reason. Um, and I know people make the argument of, oh, I'm just going to head out on my own for a quick spin, you know, like, there's nothing wrong with that, I'm not infecting anyone. And, you know, like, it makes sense, yeah, it does, you're going out on your own for a spin, you're not stopping and talking to anyone for a long period of time, completely understand that you're not going to spread it, but the thing is, we all need to have the same mindset and stick together, because if everyone had that mindset, a lockdown wouldn't exist, because everyone would think the exact same, going, okay, I'm going to go for a spin, and the next thing, it would just be, it wouldn't be a lockdown, it would just be back to normality, which is not what's what's happening right now so if you just think about that for a second if you're one of those people that are kind of giving out a lot um i saw a great post on facebook saying that you know our great grandparents fought for our freedom and and we're being asked to sit in our couch and do nothing and we're giving out about it but that's just that's just people in general um people will always find a reason to give out you tell somebody that they can't go outside they want to go outside and you tell them then that we have to go outside everyone want to sit inside but <laughs> can't please everyone and that's just the way it is and in fairness if the lockdown has taught us anything is you know it's 
great to reconnect with family and stuff again. Um, and in fairness, when, when this is all over, like the crack is going to be something else. Like the roads will be full with bikes, the pubs will be full, everyone will be out. And you know, everyone just has to look forward to those times, really. Oh, red light, every red light possible. Um, yeah, that's the worst thing about the lockdown. Even even the commute home and to and from work, all it is is through town and stuff, and you just get stuck in red lights all the time, and it's zero crack whatsoever. It's still good to be on the bike, though. I'm not gonna lie. It could be worse. It could be worse. At least you get a small little bend here. This is my first bend in ages. Woohoo! Oh crap, I'm supposed to be the other lane. Oops. Something that's kind of near me as well, and it's something I want to go see as well, is the uh, the gun mills in Balancholic. I'm going to head towards there now. It's just something that I've, I've seen come up on, on Google Maps before. I might just go have a quick gawk. Just to see if there's anything interesting around there, because Balancholic uh, Regional Park is, is a nice park. Might as well do a bit of exploration for this video and not make it all doom and gloom. Doom and gloom. Oh yeah, big bend. Class. gun mills are down uh, this area here I think the actual whole park area um, used to be there used to be a lot of gun mills there used to be a whole military barracks around here like these are the old gates to the barracks and everything it's like a there's apartment complexes there now and there's you know a shopping center um, so it's crazy how things have changed that's called the East Gate there's a bit of information about it there they've also put a McDonald's <laughs> handy and they're down here have a look as to what is going on down in this area. Pretty smooth road anyway. It's a housing estate. A football pitch. Oh, this is just an entrance to the park. Let's go have a quick look. Oh, they look kind of cool. Yeah. It's a cool little area around here actually. It's not a lot of information though. <laughs> you can see the big stone mill inside there anyway. Crazy looking. So as far as I'm aware, this used to all be an army barracks. So you would have had water coming through here and, and powering that. It's not crazy looking. It's a nice little walkway actually. It'd be handy to bring the bike through here. I like the way the water used to come through there. Unfortunately, now it's just a place to drink cans. They used to have, they used to be quite a big um, operation, is what it looks like. Looks like there's kind of a a locked gate here. Oh yeah. Might get a better view from here. As far as I'm aware they use this barracks too. Of obviously gunpowder mills and must have been making gunpowder for guns for the barracks. Um and what the barracks was used for I'm not hundred percent sure. 
Oh yeah, it's weird now how the water doesn't come in there anymore. It's kind of a shame. Hmm. It just keeps going down that way. I'm not going to walk any farther because I'm a bit uncomfortable leaving the bike kind of parked there next to cars. But there, there it is, is cool. Um, as I said, this whole area like is actually used to be a whole army barracks. Um, the gate I came in there, East Gate, that was obviously a gate to the to the park or to the barracks even. Just kind of mental when you think about it, how it's all just changed. Because there is a there's a cafe in the town that has like an old map. I'm gonna see if I can find it online. And it basically just has like um all the, the, the old locations of what they used to be and what they are now. Well not what they are now, but you can kinda of see a map and you're kinda of thinking, okay, that's where McDonald's is and that could have been a an infirmary or something. So yeah, there's even more kind of buildings around there. They're all locked and stuff. So any information around here actually might be worth looking at. Oh, it'd be very good for a paintball area actually. It would be class for a paintball area of all these buildings and stuff. Yeah, look, this is there's more just abandoned buildings in this park. Obviously can't get into any of them anymore. That's cool. I just do want to read the sign though, just to see what it says. Uh, Royal Gunpowder Mills. I know that's on the other side of the park, the watch house. The bridge. Royal Gunpowder Mills, unique 19th century gunpowder works. Hmm. Provided a form of energy that changed the world. Oh, okay then, I didn't actually realise that. Also, the whole park was different um, stages of the the process. Lovely dogs. Always cheers you up when I see a dog. You're just going to park completely in front of my bike? Okay then. I'll move there for you. <laughs> oh, he's a lovely dog. I don't want to scare him. Not too many dogs here now that I don't want to scare. dogs so yeah at least you got to do a tiny bit of an exploration lads let's head home now and actually you know chill out for the evening so yeah there's more entrances to the different kind of barracks kind of cool though to be fair it is cool that they built a town around the barracks area <laughs> i know that's a starbucks there and that used to be a, an office as well for the barracks which is kind of funny put a starbucks in there now <laughs> Ah oh, lads, how, how times move on. But yeah, cheers for watching lads. Um, hope you enjoy just this little kind of update video about Rev Up unfortunately being cancelled. All my plans and everyone's plans being cancelled and then just going visiting a little gun mill site because I was slowly going insane being cooked up in the house. But I hope everyone is doing okay. I hope lockdown isn't going too bad. And I hope um, your work and your job and everything is, isn't, isn't uh, jeopardised or anything like that by the whole situation. So. Yeah, cheers for watching lads, I'll see you in the next one, all the best.